Hello and welcome to Thursday's edition of This Old House. Just kidding. I'm Jesse Roberts with True Lift Concrete Repair. We're here at a rental property in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Now, they had a tenant in here. That tenant uh, moved out. Home was in a little bit of disrepair, so they're fixing it up for the next tenant. And the issue they had was some settlement on the interior slab. So we'll take in and show you a little bit about what was going on. So we've already finished the work inside, uh, but I want to talk to you about what's going on and then we'll show you some footage of how we determine where the settlement is and what the course of action is to fix it. So if we walk around this house, you'll see a lot of settlement cracks on the drywall. These were significantly worse before we got started. We have a horizontal crack here. Uh, all this corner bead was coming loose. And especially over here, there was a major crack in the drywall. You could stick your whole hand through it before we started. Now, if you look down at the slab, uh, they've done some treatments on the concrete to try and knock down some of the smell. Um, but there was a lot of cracking on the slab on the inside, which indicated settlement as well. You'll see our holes that we drilled. Those have already been patched. We injected a high strength geotechnical foam underneath the slab that flows like a liquid at first. It expands and begins to lift the slab. So we put painter's tape on all these cracks and as we lifted, we were able to see uh, that tape crinkle as the crack closed and we injected in this entire home. Now there's some things we have to look out for. When we're on the interior of a home, there's a lot of plumbing underneath the slab that we have to be uh, cognizant of and to make sure that we don't damage it. Uh, but we didn't have any issues today. We got these slabs lifted and uh, the house is ready to be renovated. So the way that we want to measure the floor here is, you know, traditionally with a laser level, the issue with a laser level is we have a bunch of interior walls. So a laser depends on line of sight. So all the walls are going to block our laser. We'll constantly have to move that laser around and try to figure out what elevation we were at before. So instead, we have this tool called a zip level. So we have a measuring device right here, and we have the base unit over here laying on the floor. Now we can have this anywhere, and we have a 200 foot cord that we can drag around. And as we take this base unit around the house, right now we're gonna put it at the front door, and we'll go ahead and zero it out. So this is gonna be our benchmark for all the lifting that we're gonna do. Now the great thing is we don't depend on line of sight. We can move this device around and we'll put it on the ground right here. We won't touch it, we'll let it calibrate and we'll see that right here we are 1.3 inches low. So we'll go ahead and put on our painter's tape, negative 1.3. So that gives us a good idea of how much we need to lift. Also, we're going to be able to show documented results from the lift. And we can move this all around the house and get that measurement. Painter's tape up on these cracks. So as we lift and these cracks close, we'll be able to see this tape start to crinkle. So first things first, Chris is going to start drilling some holes. This is a 3 8 inch drill bit. So a very small hole, very easy to patch. Uh, we do this a lot on driveways, patios, pool decks, you name it. So we love the small holes because we can hide them very well when we're done. All right guys, so we have a settlement crack up on the drywall here. There's a crack across the slab over here. And where the base plate is over here, you can actually see daylight on the outside of the home. So what we're going to do is an injection in this hole to put a slight amount of lift on the slab. We have this painter's tape here pulled tightly across the crack so that as we lift and that crack closes up a little bit, we should see a little bit of a crinkle in the tape where it lifted. Now, it's not guaranteed, but it's a good sign that we got some, some lift here. We'll go ahead and get started.
creeping into the tape already. Now you can see from that lip, especially if you look at it from this angle, this tape was pulled tightly across there. And now you see the crinkle where it closed up that crack a little bit. So the most important thing is before they renovate this house to get a tenant back in it, is that this slab is nice and stable so when they do all these cosmetic repairs, these cracks won't open back up on them. So here are some before and after pictures. The top is the before, the bottom is after. You can see how much these cracks closed up. And this last one's not so dramatic because I forgot to take the before picture. So we just have an after picture. You can see as that crack closed, the tape kind of crushed inside of it. Okay, everybody, we are done here at this house in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Uh, it was a fun project. Chris and I had a good time repairing the house. And as always, if you have any settling concrete slabs, whether it's a driveway, pool deck, patio, or even the inside of your home, be sure to give us a call. You can visit us on the web at trueliftconcrete.com, where you can always give us a call. We'd be happy to help. Hope you guys have a great day. For the most knowledgeable and ruggedly handsome concrete lifting crew, I'd say call TrueLift. <laughs>